Hi guys, we are well into spring and I decided to do another installment of my top 10 blushes for spring and summer. I did this last year and then I got a recent request to share my favorite blushes for this spring. And then I just figured, you know what, might as well do a new video. There are some new blushes that I discovered in the last year anyway. And then some of the other ones are from the previous video just because even in the last year, I couldn't find other blushes to replace them. They are just that good. This first one is not a surprise for a lot of you who know that I own all of these. And this is the Maybelline Master Highlight in the shade Pink Rose. It gives you a beautiful flush. You don't need a highlighter when you're using this because there are bits of highlighter in there. You can see the white. It doesn't have big pieces of glitter in here. It's a very smooth beautiful product that you can just blend beautifully into the skin. This next one is a matte blush from Milani and it's their rose powder blush in the shade T Rose. I originally got their rose powder blushes a year and a half ago or so when they were called the Coming Up Roses blushes and those were a little bit more powdery and not as pigmented and I didn't really care for them but this one they definitely revamped it because it is a lot easier to work with and it does have great pigmentation. I am wearing it right now and it's one of the most beautifully packaged blushes you could possibly find. This next one is a cult classic. It's one of my favorites of all time and if you were to ask me which blush you should get out of all of these, I would recommend Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. This was in my video last year, my top 10 blushes for spring and summer and it's just one of those that I had to include again. It is a shimmery peachy shade but it doesn't look really glittery on your cheeks. Love these baked blushes. I have a lot of them, but Luminoso is my universal favorite that I would recommend to everybody. This is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blush, and I picked up Warm in the last several months. It's probably one of my most recent purchases out of the Physician's Formula collection, and it's now one of my favorite, favorite blushes from the drugstore. It is... A beautiful no fuss I don't have a lot of time in the morning but I need to swipe something on my cheeks blush these happy booster blushes are amazing if you haven't tried them yet this next one is probably the least expensive one out of my top 10 and it is the essence silky touch blush in the shade baby doll my friend Rachel from Rach and Panda on Instagram recommended this to me and it is the most beautiful neutral pink that you could possibly find at such an inexpensive price point it is that I didn't really put blush on, but I have a beautiful flush on my cheeks type of, uh, type of blush. This doesn't have shimmer in it, but it's also not completely matte. I'd say this is a satin finish blush, and it is beautiful. It really does look like you have an effortless makeup look when you're using this blush. Now we're getting into the blushes that are not in the drugstore, a little bit more expensive. And the first one I did feature in last year's video because it's one of my favorite blushes of all time, and this is the Balm's Instain in Argyle. The Balm has some of the best blushes out there ever, and this is one of my favorite blushes of all time. You can't really let this carnation pink fool you. If you swipe this across your cheeks, it is so pigmented you will look like a clown, and that is why I suggest using a stippling brush when you're applying this. Out of the three Instains that I own, this is my favorite one. For some reason, when I use this blush, I get compliments on my face like on my look that day, which is I think a good thing because I wouldn't want to be complimented on my blush, really. I wouldn't want blush to be really obvious. I think you shouldn't be complimented on your contour either. You know, those are some things that I feel like should look really natural. And so for some reason when I wear this blush, I've noticed they're like, oh, you look great today. And I think it's just because it gives you a beautiful flush and it's such a beautiful color. So otherwise, I don't really know how to describe this except Please use a light hand because it's very pigmented. I have another blush from The Balm I wanted to share with you because like I said, The Balm really knows how to make blush. And this is the Hot Mama blush. It's again, one of my favorite products of all time. This is more of like that shimmery, corally peach that you just want to put on when you're like, hey, I just got back from the beach or hey, I just got back from the Bahamas, and you just want to give yourself a beautiful glow. When you're using this, you don't need a highlighter. You will definitely glow without highlighter when you're using this. And again, it's very pigmented, and it just really hit the nail on the head. My next blush is very similar to Hot Mama from The Balm. So if you wanted to save a little money, you can just go ahead and get Hot Mama. 
but I had to include it because it's one of my favorite NARS blushes ever. This is the NARS Powder Blush in the shade Luster. I'm just going to put these side by side so you can get a look at how similar they are. So if they look that similar in the pan, then they're going to look really similar on the cheek. So you can go ahead and get Hot Mama if you want, but yeah, I had to include this one as well because... Oh, it's so amazing. It doesn't look like you have glitter on your cheeks. It gives you a beautiful glow that makes it look like you just got back from vacation. All right, two more blushes and then we are done. This one is from Bobbi Brown. I did feature a Bobbi Brown powder blush last year as well, but it's in a different shade. This time I chose pale pink, but then it looks like hot Barbie pink. So the name is a little misleading, but it is a beautiful pigmented pink blush. It is also very similar to Milani's Delicioso Pink, in case you were wondering. It's very silky, it doesn't have any shimmer in it, and it's very small and compact, but a little goes a long way because it is so pigmented. Sometimes I want to go with a really bright Barbie pink on my cheeks and have a nude lip, and this is one of the ones I will grab if that's the case. And my last product is a blush palette, but I am talking about one blush in particular in this palette, and it is Luminous Flush, which is this one right here. First of all, I will say that this whole blush palette is beautiful, so if you want to just go ahead and get the whole palette, great. I highly recommend it. But if you want to look for one blush in particular from Hourglass, then I do love Luminous Flesh for spring and summer. It is one of the permanent shades and that's why I chose it as well. And their website describes Luminous Flesh as a champagne rose blush fused with luminous light to evoke a candlelit glimmer. Luminous light is this lighter shade that is infused in here and these blushes are beautiful for that reason because you have the color mixed with the ambient lighting powders and you just come up with a beautiful concoction. I didn't see the point in the ambient lighting powders at first, but then as I started using them more and more, now I can't live without them. I have to use them all the time because I do notice a difference in my skin. I feel like my skin just looks a lot more awake when I use them, and that's why I'm so happy now that I can also have that in my blush as well. And those are my top 10 blushes for spring and summer 2015. Let me know what some of your favorites are for this time of year when it starts to warm up. In Phoenix, it is about 92 degrees and you guys know that it's gonna really ramp up and it gets to about 115 in the middle of summer. Can't wait. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all again really soon. Bye. <laughs>